Hey guys, it's Lexi. So last weekend was my sorority's formal, and since my makeup routine has been requested many times, I decided to film a get ready with me video. So the first thing I did was went and got my nails done, and they did the Black Onyx Nail Polish by OPI. So while I was running around getting stuff done at the start of the day, I just had this basic makeup on. So all I have on my face to start off is the Professional Primer from Benefit, the Skin Renew BB Cream by Garnier, my brows are done with the Brow Fantasy in Dark Blonde by Revlon. And then I curled my eyelashes with this curler from Tarte. And then first I did a coat of mascara with the Cat Eyes, and then I followed that up with a normal coat from the original Colossal Mascara by Maybelline. And then I did some powder on my face, the Stay Matte by Revlon in the color Silky Beige. And then I went and got my hair done, and I absolutely love this braid that they did. It was inspired by this picture of Selena Gomez, and it is the coolest braid ever. I just wanted something that was a little edgier. But I ended up getting my braid a little more textured to make it less extreme. So after my hair appointment, I started with my makeup, and first I just did some eyeliner with this one by Maybelline, it's a liquid eyeliner. And then I primed my eyelids with this primer potion by Urban Decay. And then I went ahead and used the Naked Palette by Urban Decay with these brushes from Eco Tools. So the first uh, shadow I'm using is this one called Sin, and I just put this all over my lid as a base. And then I used Half Baked, and I'm just working from the outer corner into the middle and blending that in. The next color is my favorite in the palette. This is Toasted, and I'm just doing the same sort of thing with Half Baked, but I'm working it more into the crease as well as the outer corner. And the last color I'm using here is Hustle, and it's the darker color, and I'm just putting this into the corner as well as the crease again to contour my eyes a bit. And then all I'm doing is just blending that out to make it softer. Blend, 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 blend! So here is the finished eyeshadow look. So all I'm doing now is just lining my eyes with this unstoppable eyeliner from Maybelline in the color Espresso. And I'm just doing the lower lash line. So there is my completed eye makeup and I really like this look. So now I'm just going to touch up my face with the essentials from the beginning of the video. So there is the Professional by Benefit. I'm just blending my eyeshadow a little bit more with my fingers and then blending that all into my face. And then I'm just touching up my BB cream again to give me some more coverage. So cute! And blending that all in with my fingers. And then I'm putting on this Super Stay Concealer by CoverGirl just to try and hide some old acne scars as well as using it as a highlighter. And then I'm just going over that again with the Stay Matte Powder by Revlon. The 
last thing I'm putting on my face is this bronzer by NARS in the color Laguna. And there's you guys. Hello. Um, I'm really excited that I got this because Eleanor Calder uses it as well from what we saw in Tanya Burr's video of her makeup look. So I'm just contouring my cheeks with that. And I also just put it around my face on my forehead but focused it on my cheeks. And then I'm just going to set everything with this setting spray D-Slick by Urban Decay. So that is my completed makeup look. All the products that you saw in this video are what I use in different combinations every day, so I decided to put them all together to create this more glammed up formal look, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And now it's time to show you my outfit of the night. My red gown here is by Halston Heritage, and my favorite part of it is this slit so you can show some leg. My black wedges are by Vince Camuto, and my purse is the Quilted Mini Fulton, which I reviewed in my last video by Michael Kors. If you haven't seen that yet, there will be a link at the end of this video. I picked up these black and gold earrings from Forever 21, and for being so cheap, I think they're so cool. And then I was ready to go. Here's Mandy from Mandy and Lights, myself, and our friend Melissa being weirdos in the bathroom. And you can see here how this dress flows so beautifully with the slit. And here's me and my date looking glamorous. So that's all there is to this video. I had a ton of fun getting glammed up for this event. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll definitely make more videos like this in the future. Also, I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing because I passed 800 subscribers yesterday. If you haven't yet, please subscribe because I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by May 13th, the one year anniversary of my first video. And here's a bonus clip of what I wore to go out at the end of the night. This dress is from BCBG and I love it! Thanks for watching! Bye! Here's a full length view of the crossbody bag for you guys and here's it on my shoulder to show the length. It's quite a long strap on the bag which is good for me being 5'10".